People living in the Chicago area, well, they're wishing the rain would just go away. Take a look at this neighborhood street completely flooded out Sunday as relentless rain pummeled the windy, windy city, submerging the roads there and swamping basements. A lot of people are busy probably pumping their basements out now because of Ugh. Oh yeah, and you know what? After a really rainy day that we had yesterday, yeah. kind of wondering if what they're experiencing right now is coming our way, Ron. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, technically it's the same system as this upper low that brought a lot of rain to the Chicago area. Here's Lake Michigan. There's the O'Hare area, the uh, airport there, Midway as well. Just to the south of O'Hare, man, that uh, was really rough there around the Aurora area. Some big rain totals, upwards of four five inches of rain just north uh, northern parts of Chicago yesterday. That's what we were talking about when the, yeah, we see that flood video. That's the type of rain that really can cause that. Now we're dry right now, but we do have a chance for some rain today. I, I don't think we're going to see anywhere near what they saw in Chicago. Hey, it's 68 right now. Winds out of the south three miles an hour. There's no active advisories or watches out there. Certainly some good news. Do have some isolated showers showing up every once in a while, including what's just down to the south of Uniontown right now. Everyone else appears to be dry at this point. We're going to continue to see our rain chances over the next 48 hours, both today and tomorrow. Now today we probably saw the best chance for rain already moving in, but we're now starting to see you can see a little bit of that development down to the southwest. I do also want to point out you can see some of the clear skies down into parts of Indiana and Kentucky right now. That's going to work its way through this afternoon, so we're going to see some sunshine today. Probably our best chance for rain will come through about noon today. Dry after that, or at least a big portion of your afternoon should be dry. And then we'll have this part right there, that section, that last little bit coming through in the overnight hours. So I do want to point out model data is going to show at least a chance for rain all the way up until about six or seven o'clock this morning. As most of the kids are going to the bus stop, looks like the rain generally moves out. This model also will show just an isolated shower or two right there at around two o'clock. These actually are some decent showers that are coming through and then the rest of the afternoon should be dry. I think that two o'clock rain that was showing there probably will be here at around noon. After that, it's looking dry. We'll kind of skip over the evening hours because it's looking like a lot of dry time. Our last little bit of rain for the week comes in on Tuesday into the afternoon. That's as the upper low is right on top of us. Plenty of clouds, some light drizzle will be possible Tuesday afternoon. After that, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, all expected to be dry. Next chance for rain, I actually have it coming in on Sunday at about a 20% chance. It is low. 76, you're expected high in Pittsburgh today. Most places mid to low 70s out there. Here's how I think the day breaks down. 10 o'clock, 67, 70 at noon, 75, your 3 o'clock temperature, and again, 76. Your expected high temperature today. One of the things when you see an upper low coming through, you normally see your temperatures going down. We'll see that just a little bit. 72 your Tuesday high, 74 on Wednesday, 76 on Thursday. But look at the weekend. It's looking fantastic, guys. 82 on Friday, 82 on Saturday, and a Sunday high of 80 degrees. Are all of those, uh, all the farms open right now? Man, might be a good time to take the kids and the family out. Uh, maybe for, I, I know that it's probably too early for pumpkins. I don't, I don't know. Maybe apple picking uh, over the course of the weekend. That sounds know. nice. Yeah. Pumpkins might be around. Who knows? Yeah, sounds like a nice idea, Ron. All right. Thanks, Ron.